The stream connectivity surveys began in 2007. After looking at the Penobscot River Restoration Project, we realized that a whole lot of habitat was upstream of the main stem dams. And that connectivity was a problem. So fish, as well as all life within stream, really needs a lot more movement up and down along the channel. It's critical that the processes that move material up and downstream can continue unabated without constrictions, without barriers that hold back sediment, and uh, allow free movement. Working with partners at the Maine Forest Service and the Natural Resources Conservation Service, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, we started conducting surveys around the watershed. This is an exciting collaborative project with multiple stakeholders. The stream crossings on Plum Creek land have vary in their history and in their quality going back decades. Through this collaborative project uh, with TNC and others, we are able to inventory our stream crossings and then through data analysis, we can zero in and filter on those particular stream crossings that have some issue, whether it's a barrier issue for fish, and then decide collaboratively on a plan going forward. So the stream crew for the past uh, seven years has been coming to every place where there's a stream that's mapped and a road that's mapped crossing the stream. And what they do is they come up to that crossing to basically do surveying of the structure. So they're, they're measuring what the length and width of the structure are. They're measuring the depth of the water and the width of the stream so they can get a better determination of whether the structure is actually constricting the stream. Maine Audubon has been leading an, a collaborative effort over the last four years called Stream Smart, which is designed to help people understand why it's important to replace these poorly functioning culverts and bridges. We've been doing trainings with road construction crews and engineers and landowners all across the state. By reviewing and inventorying stream crossings across our land, we can pick out those stream crossings uh, that need attention and then uh, use this new technology such as cement blocks and different types of uh, material. What used to be at this site were two smaller undersized culverts that would hydrologically pass the water, but once again it doesn't help that ecological function. And we decided to span the whole creek with this arch culvert. Basically half of a culvert that the whole bottom's cut out, and then to stabilize the roadbed and the sediment around it, we've added those bigger boulders, uh, the riprap. So to improve the ecological functions at crossings, we're trying to go to structures like this that maintain the natural bottom and are big enough to try to span the whole width of the creek. For the past four years, this has been a very concentrated effort with crews that have been trained up um, and worked throughout a, an extended field season that's been funded by the Nature Conservancy with Maine Audubon. There are probably 35 large landowners that own most of the state of Maine and it makes sense to conduct outreach to each of those landowners where we can work in terms of collecting data, sharing information on the road base, and help point to priority places for restoration. 